two goals to Gary Lyon, one left foot, one right foot snap, 422 career goals for him, or Rigoni got bent heavily, still gets a kick in, well played son, inside 50, oh, terrific mark, Neats, such a strong forward line Mick with Neats, Gary Lyon and Schwartz, and then of course you've got the ground level skills of Jeff Farmer, it's a very potent forward line. Yeah, for sure, KB. But once again, we've seen the importance of the body-on-body -body situation in the midfield. It was just the Melbourne bodies crashing into the contest that little bit harder than the Adelaide team, and all of a sudden, momentum goes your way. Just get the ball forward and let your height be a critical factor in the forward 50. On this occasion, it was Neitz against his opponent in Caven, who had the superior strength and also the superior judgment to take the mark. 25 goals for the year. He'll kick from 50 directly in front. He's given it plenty of air. And what's he done with it? Looks good from here, it's there. The third goal kicker for Melbourne. So two and a minute and a half for the D's, close to quarter time. And that is a very, very good opening from Melbourne. Yeah, that's terrific balance in the one-on-one -on -one contest. And it's these contested marks in your forward part of the ground that are so important at the end of the day. And as you know, that as the day goes on, height becomes a critical factor but it's certainly in the centre bounces that Melbourne are controlling. And Rusciuto's playing in the conventional centre-half forward spot. James from right half back. Big punch away. McLeod nearly. Viney, he's got him. Lyon, good hand pass. Matthew Phoebe, dummies. Jarman nearly gets him. Back to Stephen Phoebe. Squares the ball. Goes over the head of Jeff White, if that's possible. Now he takes the hand pass from Rigoni. The Ox is back on the ground. Schwartz. Long bomb, looks for Neitz and finds him in front of Stevens. Good set up by Melbourne. A goal kicker already today, David Neitz. He has one goal, one against his name. 26th for the season. Twice won the club's goal kicking. Peter, they're very, very confident, Melbourne. That was super work through the midfield. Thanks for that, Curls. Their midfield, as I said earlier, very much underrated. But they do do the job. Now, can Neitz cap it off? Distance won't be a problem for him. 35 metres out, about a 60-degree angle. He's got the goal. Yeah, and Melbourne have certainly jumped into this third quarter. It was so important for the Adelaide team to possibly get the first goal so they can gain some sort of confidence and effort in their game. They're a little bit probably fortunate here. It was due to weight and numbers in the midfield. It was Phoebe who turned the ball over, didn't find his target. But because of the weight of numbers favoured Melbourne, they could really get out of that tight situation. That's a penetrating pass there by David Schwartz to fight David Neitz, who converted. Let's go down to Neil Curley and... Can't turn it, but at this stage, Melbourne have got all the answers. Well, the Demons by 40 points. They're so strong out of the centre square, Tingay was held. David Neitz has beat two goals today. His best ever against the Crows is six. Let's have a look at this replay. We can see Costa pulling Tingay off the ball. Kicks into the pocket. Here comes Neitz. And it's not only the centre bounce crew was so important to getting a first access to the ball. It was Tingay on that occasion. It's the peripheral players, those players on the outside of the centre square who are charging into that contest. On that occasion, it was Tingay who pushed extremely hard forward. He's got his line of his body through the line of the ball, received the free kick. Terrific execution and pass to Neitz. He can kick his second for the quarter. From right on 50, David Neitz. It's bending back. He's drilled it. Three goals. Three goals to David Neitz. Mentioned before, six is his best against the Crows. We might have a chance later on to have a word to Peter McKenna because Mod was off the ground and also Robran, both sitting on the interchange bench. There's David Neitz taking that mark way, way out in front. Yeah, promising start to the Demons. First two goals for the quarter. First finals game since 94. Wooden Spooners last year against the reigning Premiers. Who would have thought as Swartz thumps the ball forward. The Wizard runs onto it. Unselfish play to Neitz. Bangs it through. He's... Four goals to David Neitz, and three of those goals have come in this third quarter. Yes, and there's that man on screen once again, Jeff Farmer. He just got his opponent in Edwards. 
good knock by Schwartz. Turned him inside out. He had a quick look over his left shoulder to see where the chase was. Offering from Edwards. Terrific team orientated play to handle the ball over to Neitz. He's kicked four goals for the game, third for the quarter. And just try and keep that score around about what it is now. The tackling of Melbourne Curls has been fantastic. Oh, everything has been, uh, KB. They've done a great job. And this guy's a worry. So athletic. So much run in his legs. Jeff White to the half forward line. Robertson off the interchange bench. Wants to take him on. Looking for Uze. And here's Neitz. Well, he's booted three goals in this quarter. Four for the game. He'll be shooting from right on 50. Right off, Stein's on. Had 25 goals coming into this game. He's kicked 29 for the season. Usually a beautiful kick David needs. The roar tells the story. Yes, and maybe it's time for Malcolm Bright to issue a change in that part of the ground. Stevens, who's been opposed to uh, David Neitz for the majority of the game and basically all the game may be a better option if Caven actually goes back Stephen goes to centre half forward where he's played a bit of footy at North Melbourne before he made the transition to the Adelaide Crows but there's Robertson who, who kicked beautifully to the lead of David Neitz and he's been an exceptional player this quarter hits the ball hard from centre half back then again a great tackle this time by Anthony McDonald it's been the feature today of of Melbourne, kicks a high ball, Neitz! That's terrific, body use, isn't it, KB? Well, he was magnificent in the third quarter. He booted four goals. He's got five for the match. They've kicked only four behinds in the last quarter of the Ds. And usually this distance wouldn't trouble David Neitz. From 55 metres out. Unloads, both barrels. Six goals to David Neitz. Six goals to Jeff Farmer. Two magnificent performances today for Melbourne. As you spoke about, KB, just the tackling there by McDonald to dispossess the loose ball. He kept his feet in the tackle also and got the ball forward to Neitz. That's a terrific mark there. Just used his body to get Stevens out of the row, kept his hands free, went back and kicked his sixth. 